Hello, dear viewer. Today I'm going to address something that is foremost on the minds of some of you. I wouldn't say all our minds, because that would be giving this idiot too much credit. Of course I'm speaking about Angry Joe and his snub at the VGAs. Angry Joe is the biggest poser since the irate gamer to ever attach his stupid mug to the medium I hold so dear. As little as the irate gamer knows about video games, I'd rather be represented as an old school gamer by the likes of the Boars than this fake. Yeah, I know. But you know what? The irate gamer is a relatively harmless, boring reviewer. I mean, he's not trying to rub shoulders with famous people and act like he speaks for every single gamer in existence and talk calling himself your fucking hero. I felt fucking terrible. I was supposed to be the champion of the people. Yeah, we're talking about a guy who stated that Civilization V was brilliant, but 1 through 4 were worthless by his standards on account of their complex nature. He'll happily tell you he never played them and he even talked shit about them for no reason other than... He can't play anything more complex than Madden. Like I said to you at the beginning of this review, this is coming from somebody who's never played any of the Civilization games. In fact, even from somebody who has outright crapped on this series before. I'm this game's target market, really. All these changes were made for people like us. Oh, people like you, eh? Do you mean to tell me you're trying to separate yourself from the old gamer generation? Oh, that means you're... Not a gamer, you're a douchebag jock! Hell, he even looks like a douchebag jock, and he pretends to speak for all gamers! Does he not realize that I represent you guys? That I represent a bunch of core gamers that have serious concerns with the show, and this is how he treats us? Hey, hey, excuse me, Mr. High and Mighty, you don't represent me. You represent yourself and your own selfish interests. You know, those interests of getting ahead and getting seen by everybody on the internet. You represent you. He thought I was just some random guy off of YouTube. You are a random guy on YouTube, you moron! But I digress. What is this insufferable facial punch magnet bitching about to get your attention this time? Well this. Instead, we got put last, I got dicked around, and I was waiting there all day for him. Guy disappeared, then finally, out of nowhere, I see him show up, he walks across the celebrity carpet, and then he disappears again, I don't know where he is, and then out of nowhere, I literally see him sprinting towards me, and he's like, Joe, Joe, come on, you got two minutes, go. Joe, you got two minutes, go, go. So. Basically, to sum up, he's bitching that he only got two minutes with Jeff Keighley on the red carpet as opposed to the 15 minutes of alone time he wanted with him. Well, take a look at the interview. Here's the entire thing. First of all, tell me if you thought it was two minutes long and whether any of the questions Angry Joe asked were pertinent or, you know, worthy of being answered in any way other than snarky. with Jeff, who, uh, I have a bone to pick with this particular man, all right? He is the executive producer for the VGAs. You have a lot of questions to answer for now. I hope that... Let's see, who is this? Alan McClark. What's to be angry about there, Jeff? Come on. There's nothing to be angry about that. All right. Uh, basically, a lot of people, I feel, uh, think that the VGAs have turned into maybe just one big advertisement, one big marketing thing, and essentially a, a big joke. But year after year, it seems the, the VGAs seem to get better. Um, and I just want to make sure that that consistently happens. So well, you gotta let me know after you see the show tonight. What do you think? Well, I will let you know what sure I think you will. of the You're show after about it. Yeah, I'll but post you know, what's great about this show, I think, is that it works for gamers. The gamers love the world <coughs> premieres, and I think it also it, it shows the best of our industry to a he, wider market. Here's the problem uh, with or, with particular categories like uh, best independent game fueled by Mountain Dew. Well, it kind of takes away. It. Yeah, we don't have that category this show. Oh, so you took away the best independent no, game fueled by we Mountain, took away Mountain Dew? We have okay, best independent perfect. Games perfect. Being presented by Gear perfect. Perfect. Love it. Love it. See, nice that's show. that is improvement. Oh. That's improvement. Moving along. Basically, what? Jeff. 
This is a worse environment to conduct an interview in. Essentially, one more question. What do you have to what, what's with the lack of underrepresentation of PC gaming? Where's the MMO categories? It's a huge market, and yet there's no PC games, no strategy games, no MMOs. Well, we have a best PC game category. Civs uh, nominated, Starcrafts nominated. Uh, you know, what happened to for Studio of the Year? What MMOs should have been nominated for uh, Game of the Year? There are so many MMOs. Uh, like uh, Dungeon Fighter Online, there's one example. Uh, you could also, uh, what other games? Uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy MMO? Yeah. This year? Not this year. Not this year. Exactly. It didn't come out this year. Keep going, Jeff. Like, oh, you, you going to take another question? Okay, no, so... No, I'm just saying, like, so I get your point, but... You get my point. Who uh, who selects the games, and what are their qualifications to select the games that get uh, uh, voted on this public Pretty public. Contest. It's an advisory board of uh, journalists from all the top publications. GameSpot, I... Are you serious? Game Weekly, yeah. That's new information to us. It's, that's it's perfect. very publicly Do available, think, Joe. If you look online... Do you, you think that the video so game awards... So that's basically like a video game awards academy. That's correct, yes. Well, hey, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. You heard it here. So I, I feel like you need to do a little more research for your look, this, this time. Oh, snap. No, this, is not, this is not how I wanted to do it. Come on, you, you, you can't, can't talk to me on the independent game, which look, is not what it is this year. You tell me so, MMO should be nominated for Game of the Year, yet you can't name the MMOs it should be. Look, and you're telling me that you don't know who's voting on the awards when it's public. So, I mean, come on, man, you have these rants. Look, but they're look, 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 look. They're not thinly veiled, okay? Basically, I think that your show appeals to the lowest common denominator amongst gaming. Not Every gamer is a, is a slobbering idiot sitting on his mom's couch. But that's what you appeal to. Back in 2002, you opened the show with Jenna Jameson basically saying that she's going to just take off her clothes. Do you think that's the kind of content that real gamers want in their premiere gaming show? That's 2002. I think it's a new show. We've read when, did you, when, when were you the executive producer? I started, uh, I, I'm executive in charge of publisher relations starting, I think, maybe 2007 or so. 2007. Okay, so you weren't responsible for that. Nothing to do with it. Okay. That. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you have because all I, I want to do is improve the VGAs. Thank okay. You know, well, you watch the show. You let me know what you think. And we'll have another if there's, there's just a few more email questions. Would you take email questions? And maybe sure, sure. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Guy came at me hard. He really fucked with me. Yeah. Now, for those of you keeping track, that was over four minutes. Easily enough time for Joe not to have stepped on his words, desperately trying to find any retort to compensate for his lack of preparedness. I'm disappointed that the only thing he managed to do in those four minutes was whine about how bad Jeff's awards are making him look. And I approached this thing all wrong, okay? Yeah, you did. I tried to be diplomatic, who, uh, I have a bone to pick with this okay. particular man, all right? I tried to have an upbeat attitude. Brats, look, but they're thinly look, look, veiled. Look, they're not thinly veiled, okay? Basically, I think that your show appeals to the lowest common denominator amongst gaming. Not every gamer is a, is a slobbering idiot sitting on his mom's couch. But that's what you appeal to. Back in 2002, you opened the show with Jenna Jameson basically saying that she's going to just take off her clothes. Do you think that's the kind of content that real gamers want in their premiere gaming show? I thought that since they were the ones to initiate the invite that maybe they were willing to actually feel and listen to some of our concerns. Yeah, too bad these concerns were voiced by a slow, dim-witted simpleton with absolutely no improvisational, no journalistic, no oratory or comedic skills whatsoever. You've got so little journalistic integrity, not only did you neglect to do your homework on the guy, but you had to get your questions from your fans rather than think of clever ones of your own. Because say it with me now, monkey boy, you're not a gamer. But no, that's not what happened. That is not the respect that we got. First of all, respect is earned. Oh, and to get respect, first you have to extend it, Joe. By the way, when you said that thing about gamers not being slobs or whatever it is you tried to imply about us... Hey asshole, remember when gaming was that thing that only us little nerdy kids do? Yeah, we were those kids that you were beating up on in the schoolyard. Remember us? Jerk. Here's a PM I just sent Angry Joe. I am requesting an interview with the man that claims he is the repository for all gaming knowledge, the Grandmaster of Blistered Thumbs, the hero of the people as he calls himself. Will he accept an interview? Who knows? 
but I can guarantee you one thing. If I were to conduct an interview leading with the same degree of belligerence he extended Jeff at the VGAs, you can bet your ass he's going to attempt to defend himself. And unlike Joe, I will not fold under the pressure. I welcome the chance to show you what the real Joe is all about. Best of all, I'm not going to ask you, my viewers, to ask me questions to ask him. I don't speak for you. No one should speak for you. You have your own voice, people. And the longer you let mouthpieces like Joe, like Archfiend, like Spoonie, and every other self-important ad revenue-making putz do your talking, the quieter your voice is going to become. Till next time, dear viewer. By the way, I'm just an asshole on the internet. I don't speak for you. I speak for me. If you like what I do, that's great. Thank you. Thanks for coming to my channel and checking my shit out. If you feel you must unsub, there's the unsub button. Go ahead. I'm not here for ad revenue or any of that shit. I'm really just a guy that loves putting my fucking face on a camera for you. And if you like it, cool. If not, there's plenty of other assholes on the internet, aren't there? Anyhow... Your opinion will only matter if you have the balls to give your own opinion. Till next time. If there is a next time.